Spiritual Bible Study. We will be using the LEC deck as usual and if you are interested in purchasing a LEC deck you can follow the link on screen. The deck was developed by the Diocese of Bath and Wells and the Diocese of Bristol. We are also following the Church in Wales lectionary and this week's reading is taken from All Saints. But before we start, let's take some time to pray together. Dear Lord, thank you that you have helped us through yet another week of this time of Covid. We praise you for everything that you do for us and for everything that you do in the world. Thank you that you take so much care to look after your people. So help us, Lord, help us to live the way that you want us to live and help us to look at the reading this week and gain from it the thing that you want us to gain. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our reading this week is taken from 1 John 3 verses 1 to 3 and our theme is that we are children of God. So, as usual, if you have a Bible that you love to read, then please, please read your own version. Our Bible reading is taken from the Good News Bible and it is going to appear on screen. See how much the Father has loved us. His love is so great that we are called God's children. And so, in fact, we are. This is why the world does not know us. It has not known God. My dear friends, we are now God's children, but it is not yet clear what we shall become. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Everyone who has this hope in Christ keeps himself pure, just as Christ is pure. Our reading this week tells us that God loves us and that we are his children that we are like Christ. So here's a question for you. If we are God's children, and if that makes him our parent, what makes a good parent? Pause the video here. Take some time to think about what you think is a good parent. So, parents love us no matter what, or they should love us no matter what. God really does love us no matter what we do. There is nothing that we can do that will take God's love away from us once we have asked for forgiveness. So how does God the Father show this love to all of his children? Pause the video here and have a think about how that love is shown. I don't know what answers you've come up with, but to me, God shows his love because he does everything, everything he can in his power to bring us back to him and he does this by sending his son Jesus Christ to die for the wrong things that we've done. How amazing is that? One more question for you then. If God shows his love by sending his son to die for the bad things that we've done, how can we show others that we are a child of God. How can we spread that message of love? Pause the video here 
and take some time to think. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that you are the most unbelievable parent. You treat us with so much love. You love us unconditionally. There is nothing that we can do that will take your love away. And because of that, we know that you are there for us. Lord, we want to thank you for our parents. We want to thank you for those that take care of us day to day. Our parents, our grandparents, our carers and our guardians. We may not be able to see all of these people at the moment because of all the restrictions that are in place. But God, we know that they love us no matter what. And we know that they will do anything that they can to keep us safe. Help us to show the love that we receive from you and from our parents to all those around us on a daily basis, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, it's going to be difficult for you to do your live it task for this week unless you live with those who care for you because of all the restrictions in place. But there are ways still that you can follow through with the livid task. Just be careful and remember that you are supposed to be staying at home as much as you physically can. So here's your livid task for this week. Do something kind for someone who cares for you. That could be helping with the dishes, it could be having a phone call with a grandparent just to, to check in and see how they are and tell them how much you love them. There are so many ways that we can do something nice for someone who cares for us. Now on the 24th of this month, a band called LZ7 started doing an online Illuminate Live show which is going to happen monthly. And I will find out the date of the next one for you and put it onto the slide as well so that you can join in should you wish to. But the music that I've chosen this week, I happened to be listening to live when I was writing this Bible study. So this week's music choice is from LZ7 and it's called A Love That Won't Run Out because that is what God gives us. He gives us a love that will not run out ever, no matter what we do. Thanks for being with me again this week, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.